you're just a team player, right? I mean, you you didn't sign up to be a center, right? But yeah. you're, you're doing your best to make this work, right? Yeah, I'll play any position they need me. I just want to win. It's all about winning. So, yeah. mm -hmm. There's an old saying, do something right, nobody remembers, do something wrong, nobody forgets, right? Yeah, that's so. true, bud. <laughs> Especially when you're a center, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, so what went wrong on the second and goal at the, at the five there? Um, I just, I think I was just overthinking it and just kind of the, had to just relax, just cool down a little. I was good right after it. So it was just a little overthinking. So Probably mm -hmm. snapped the ball another, what, 60, 70 yeah. times? And yeah, all good. <laughs> so do you feel like you feel comfortable with this position? More of a set. Yeah, I feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what was the interaction like between you and Jaden after? Did he kind of try to calm you down and, you know, get you settled? Uh, he just told me what happened. And we, that's happened in practice before. <laughs> so he, he just did it normally, like, just went far away. I'm like, all right, got to lock in. And we'll set. Can't, can't think about the past too much. Right, so, you know, mm -hmm. week one, just get the jitters out and going forward. Yep. Keep a positive mindset. Exactly, so, yeah, you can always stay positive. Uh, just the offensive line as a whole. I know you, there's a lot of new pieces there, and how, how do you feel like that's coming together? That, you know, it was your first game. You feel like you'll get better every week? Oh, yeah, 100%. We're getting better every week. We're falling in like Legos, just clicking together, and we're all like a full block. Full block. So, mm -hmm. What, what was the uh, what was the key in the second half? I think from late to third quarter, you had like a seventy-two yard drive, an eighty something, mm -hmm. and a ninety-nine yard drive. Saying so, like you caught fire. Yeah, I think we just started to bring the momentum, the energy started to pick up some, and we just were locked in completely. Energy was there, my mentality was there. So, mm -hmm. and Jaden, you feel like if you if you give him time, he can do this. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I give him time. He we gotta protect as long as he needs. We, we just keep on blocking until he throws that ball off. <coughs> uh, the next two games on the schedule kind of seem like, you know, some tune-up games for LSU. How vital would that be at this point in the momentum? You know, the nice momentum drop off. It's going to give you time to build it back up. Yeah, so I want to say the momentum really dropped off. We just had to just get our just energy back, really. And these next few games, we're treating it like we were just playing the best of the best. If we're going out playing our LSU football that we should be playing every single game. And we're going to treat them like every other opponent and just try to beat them as much as we can like everyone else. Did Coach Denbrock kind of pull you aside and, and talk to you afterwards as well? Afterwards? After the, the first <laughs> initial drive, first couple couple times? No, no. We just got back in the O-line little group at the very end of the bench and just went over each play, what we got to do, what we got to fix. Just like normal. What, what would you say about uh, Jerry Jenkins and his kind of leadership? And you know, he plays a position where a lot of times people say, oh, they're divas and this and that. He's, he seems like the complete opposite of that. Yeah, no, he brings the energy. He really keeps it all up. When, when it's down, he brings us up. He makes the plays that keep us going, keep the momentum flowing. So yeah, he's awesome. It seems like in big moments, he, he always seems to kind of come through. Like that A&M game last year mm -hmm. and, and this one. Yeah. Uh, big players make big time plays. So he's one of those big players for us, and he knows what he has to do and to help this team out. So he's just doing his job. I know you from Michigan, right? Mm -hmm. so yep. You, you didn't grow up on LSU and Southern, but what have you heard about, you know, what's, what, the, what this game means, you know, these two teams playing for the first time, Baton Rouge and all that? Yeah, so I heard this is like a huge game for the state of Louisiana. I didn't really know much, like we said, because I'm from Michigan. But my coach from Baton Rouge, I got players from Baton Rouge, and they said this is like one in a lifetime. Like they're coming here, and this is a one and done game. And so yeah, it's, it's going to be a hard one. Like they're not, they're not going to give up because this is their chance to prove something. Mm-hmm.